Welcome to episode 127, Jeans for Women Over 40. Jeans may just be the most ubiquitous clothing item in our wardrobes, but once you're over 40, there can be a lot of confusion about what styles are even right anymore. In this episode, I'm giving you the lowdown on how to wear jeans over 40 and answering the question that's on everyone's minds. Can I still wear skinny jeans? But first... Are you frustrated with your midlife middle? The muffin top or extra skin around your midriff that spills out of your waistband is just a fact of life. For those of us who have given birth, gained weight, or are just experiencing the changes our body brings with age. So, suffice it to say, if you have a muffin top, you are not alone. But as common as muffin tops are, dressing to hide one can be a bit of a challenge. It's one of the most often asked questions I get as a style coach. I've created a video series just for you to help you know what to wear to look great and feel fabulous, despite your midlife middle. How to Mask a Muffin Top is a fun video series I created with easy, actionable steps that are quick to implement and that you can do right away. Designed to give you exactly what you need to know how to hide that pesky bulge and feel confident again, How to Mask a Muffin Top is a wonderful resource you can go back to again and again. To learn more, click the link in the show notes and get ready to mask your muffin top stat. Welcome to Style by Mary Michelle, a podcast designed to empower you through personal style. I'm your host, Mary Michelle Nidefer, a master style coach, founder of Style Finder Boutique, and creator of the Style Finder ID system. I'm here to help you know what to wear, how to wear it, and how to get dressed in seven minutes or less. Let's go. Hello, beautiful. Welcome back. Today, we're talking about jeans because, well, it's fall, right? And fall is such a great time to think about restocking your jeans and what the fall trends are because, you know, when you think about trends, denim is always a big trend. And I know a lot of you don't necessarily look at the trends when it comes to jeans, which is totally fine. But I've also seen a lot of questions and I've heard a lot of comments about jeans for women over 40. Y'all, y'all have a lot to say about jeans. And so I want to hear your discussion. Come on over to the Style by Mary Michelle podcast group. Let's have a chat. I want to know what you're wearing. I want to know what your go-to styles are and what you feel like women shouldn't be wearing. Here's my perspective. You should only wear what you love. And don't worry about what everybody else wears, right? I mean, I know as a style coach, I can tell you in general, but I always tell clients, I could tell you all the fundamentals but I can't tell you what feels right to you. And I know that there have been things that I've worn that have checked the box, but I just couldn't stand. So (laughs) clothing can be very, very personal and jeans can be very personal too. In fact, jeans, I think denim, I don't remember when back in the 1800s, I think, you know, denim jeans, dungarees were invented by Levi Strauss and denim actually comes from Denim, which is a town in France. And it's interesting how it just has evolved because I think of denim and I think of like street culture and urban trends and fashion and here on the streets of any country and people are wearing denim, people of all ages, all walks of life. Denim, I think is the one piece of clothing that just is I'm reluctant to use the term universal, but I think it is something that Almost everybody wears. Now, I will tell you, my son, who's 15, he does not wear jeans. He cannot stand jeans. <laughs> uh, I say give him a few years, but he just, he, he will wear chinos. He loves those. Those have been his go-to lately, but he will not wear jeans. Even jeggings, even pull-ons, even things that are soft. I don't know what it is. I, I'm not sure if he understands it, but I'm going to keep trying, get him in some jeans. But jeans have come a long way. They are not the jeans that we think of back in the 70s or 80s. And jeans, even just from every year, I am amazed. And to think about the jeans that we carried when we first started Style Finder seven years ago to the jeans that we carry now, there has been such a change in the technology. The stretch, really. The stretch, how much it bounces back, the fit. It has changed so much. And I think because denim is so popular, 
I bet, I, I don't know this for a fact, but I would be willing to bet that if you looked at total dollars spent on a fashion item or in a certain category, jeans would probably be at the top because jeans are appropriate now for just about anything. Just about, not everything, but you can wear jeans to church. I know I talked last week about getting kicked out of our country club for wearing jean, corduroy jeans. Uh, I was politely asked to leave, even though the woman who asked me to leave was actually wearing sweatpants. Like, hmm, okay, I see your rules, but I'm going to challenge them because that's how I roll. But I see people wearing jeans to church, business meetings, women come in the boutique all the time, and they now tell us, especially after COVID, I think COVID changed that a lot, but so many women tell us now they can wear jeans to the office. And I think the beauty of it is jeans have come a long way. No longer are they just the thing that you wear with t-shirts and your sneakers, although that has been elevated too. And so I'm going to take you through five things to think about if you're over 40, really for any age, uh, but really for if you're over 40 and give you my take on it from an, from an expert standpoint and what I'm seeing in the industry, the trends I'm seeing, what I'm hearing women say, and what I feel are going to be the right ways to find your best genes. Now, there is no absolute. If there's something you don't agree with here, take it. Take what you like and leave the rest. You know, <laughs> I'm not here to dictate ever. I am just here to offer you suggestions. But jeans, I know the jeans I wear have changed. And one of my favorite pairs of jeans, I probably shouldn't even talk about them here, but I they're from Liverpool and they're a pair I saw um, online and I had Allison special order a pair we have some that are very, very similar in the boutique. I think it's the Hannah Crop Flare Jean. The ones I have are very similar. Um, the Hannah Crop Flare are good, but I like the rise on the ones I got, and I can't tell you what they're called. But um, they're a little bit higher. The Hannah Crop Flare kind of hit me at a mid-rise, and, well, let's get into it, shall we? Number one, the first thing you want to think about is fit. If you put on a pair of jeans, I don't care if they're the right cut, color, whatever. You feel you have to have them, the designer label, whatever. They don't fit you. They are not right. Do not ever beat yourself up because a pair of jeans don't fit and don't make yourself wear something that does not do you justice. I speak from experience. I remember, gosh, when I first moved to Raleigh, probably in... Well, I graduate, well, I'm not going to date myself, but you guys know how old I am. And I don't really care because I'm, I'm grateful for whatever age, but I moved to Raleigh in, De in December of 19. No, I moved to Raleigh in January of 1991. So a long time ago, 31 years ago. And I remember my first apartment and my first job. And I remember shopping. I think I was shopping at TJ Maxx and I found a great pair of, thought they were great, Levi's. And love the cut. They were cut for curvy girls, which, you know, I thought it was curvy. Turns out I'm not curvy in the way that those were cut for. But I put those things on and they kind of gave me a muffin top. But here's what I did. And I don't want you to do this. I rationalized. Oh, I'll lose five pounds. And then these are going to fit me like a glove. And eh, not true. I tell you what, I beat myself up over those jeans because they gave me a muffin top. And that's not good. They made me angry. They put me in a really, really bad mood when I wore them because I didn't feel good about myself and they were uncomfortable. And so what I know now is it's not the losing five pounds. It's that they were not the right jeans for me. Now I have a whole episode. I'm going to link to it in the show notes about how to get a great fitting pair of jeans and definitely go listen to that. But one thing that I will say is they gave me a muffin top and they weren't the right cut. I so I want you to think about the rise. They were not the right rise. They were too low of a rise. And so I could lose five pounds, 15 pounds, whatever. The rise was not high enough. And where they hit me did not serve my body. And they gave me a muffin top. They weren't flattering in other areas either, but it really was the inseam. It was the rise. So I want you to think about the rise. Are you wearing jeans with the right rise? Are they coming up too high? Are they coming up too low? We actually got some jeans, some pants in the boutique yesterday. 
or the other day and we tried them on, they're not going to hit the floor and you're not going to have a chance to buy them <laughs> because we put them on and they fit great in the front. And then you bend over and they did not, uh, they kind of showed what I like to call all of London and all of France. And that's unacceptable. So they're going to have to go back to the vendor and we are going to get something else, which is too bad because they were really good pants, but you don't want that either. You don't want to bend over and then you're, you know, (laughs) everything you have on is on display. That's not what you want. So make sure one thing I do talk about in my, how to get a good fitting pair of jeans is you want to move around in them. I mean, it's one thing to put them on your body, but move, sit, stand, bend over. How are they going to feel? Because the worst thing would be to stand there and they look great. And then you get them and you wear them out and you go to sit down in a football game or something. And you're so self-conscious because you're flashing the people behind you. And that's a true story that has happened to people before. And I'm not going to say who, but some, not myself, but that his, uh, it doesn't feel good. And then you're just, <laughs> what are you going to do? You can't just go to the gift shop and buy a new pair of jeans. Right. So anyway, so make sure the fit is right for you. And if they're giving you muffin top, then go higher in the rise. You want the waistband to hit you higher. All right. The second thing I want you to think about is cut because cut matters and cut. Here's where we're going to bring in a little bit of style, a little bit, because one of the biggest questions I have been asked, and I've been asked this hundreds of times, can I still wear skinny jeans? Yes, you can still wear skinny jeans. I tell you what, I am not seeing skinny jeans going anywhere. Skinny jeans have, in my opinion, have crossed over to become a classic. And so many women love them. They're great to wear with boots. If you're an apple body type, skinny jeans are perfect for you. It's not like you're just going to say, well, I'm an apple. So let me go get a boot cut. No, that's not going to work for you. You need a skinny. So stick with the skinnies. Have confidence that they will still be there for you when you need them. And if you ever feel like they go away, let your voice be heard. Write your favorite manufacturer. Speak to your stores. Talk to your boutique owners. Let people know what you want. And so, girls, skinny jeans and side parts. Not going anywhere for anybody anytime soon. Now, here's where I want to just talk about age for a minute. Because what I'm seeing, I'm hearing a lot of comments on Instagram. If you don't follow me on Instagram, go go jump over there and and follow Style by Mary Michelle with one L. But some of my my videos that I'm offering tips, I'm getting a lot of great comments, but occasionally I'll get a comment like, oh, that makes her look so old. Or something to the effect of, well, that's that's not, that's so dated. And it's interesting. In fact, there was one about a cardigan recently, not pants, but a cardigan. And somebody said something about something being dated. And I beg to differ because in my opinion, the cardigan she was talking about is is a classic style. And this is where I don't want you, this is where I think some people who are a little bit younger of a different mindset are very, very influenced by the trends. But once you get to a certain age and you know what works for your body, stick with it. It does not matter if it's on trend or not, because it is your style. And that's where you cultivate your signature style. You know, I talk so much about that, but you're, we're not here to fall prey to whatever trend might happen to be hot. If that's the case, you might just give up looking good, right? It's about self-knowledge. It's about knowing what works for you, what feels good to you, what balances your body type. And so if skinny jeans work for you, great. Straight jeans, boot cut, crop flares, boyfriend jeans, girlfriend jeans. Those are all great cuts for women over 40. Now, let's talk about the crop flares for a minute. That, in my opinion, is one of my new personal favorites. We started carrying some of those at Style Finder a couple of years ago. And it was interesting because everybody that put those on were like, wow. Like they were, I don't know, there was something about there were crop flares And they came out in the, I think it was in the summer. They were great to wear over the summer, but there was something very, very flattering about those. And they just look surprisingly good. And so if you don't like skinnies, straight legs can be a good classic, but oftentimes, ladies, I'm going to be honest with you, straight legs, if you don't wear them in the right way, can look dated, can look matronly. So I want you to be mindful and 
this is where I want you to think about, you know, there's so many things to think about with your shoes, your socks, your footwear, your boots. What are you wearing? Now, we had a photo shoot the other day and one of our models came out wearing, uh, she had these great black booties on, but she had a black straight leg pant and the pants themselves were great. But with those booties, it almost looked as if the pants and the booties were all in one. And it was not a good look. It almost looked like she had on waders and then they just turned into her booties because there was no differentiation. And I think that's one thing that you want to think about. And that's a why that's why we like the cropped flare so much, because when you have that differentiation between where does, or I should say delineation between where the pants stops and where your shoe starts, that having a little bit of a gap can be very flattering. Now, I've also had women come in and say, hey, I'm really tall. I don't want my things to look like high waters. Totally get it. And there's a big difference between them being intentionally cropped and flared and too short. You'll know the difference when you put them on. You'll know. If you feel like you're having to fudge it, you'll know. So I want you to think about how they feel. Does it feel like you walked out your book? And but I will say this, one of the women who came in, she's like, yeah, my mom would tell me don't do high waters. I don't want you hearing somebody else's voice in the back of your head. Get that out of your head. Listen to your own rules. You get to create your own rules, right? This is not the 70s or the 80s or the 90s or the early 2000s. This is 2022 and you get to wear what you want to wear, what makes you feel good. And what makes you feel good right now may be very different from five years ago, 10 years ago, 20 years ago. And things that are in style have changed as well. And so if you always heard that a certain style wasn't good for you, if you were really drawn to it, give it another try because there's a good chance it might work. Now let's talk about wash. Wash is important. And I think a lot of women are confused by washes. Um, I want you to think about things that are in line with your personal coloring. And that might be a little confusing, but let's take myself, for instance. If you've seen me or picture me, you know I have dark hair, I have dark facial features, I have light skin. But what works best for me, what I typically gravitate towards is a darker wash in the fall and winter. And then usually in the spring and summer, I like a medium wash. I don't feel good in a light wash. I feel like it's too light for me and it kind of washes me out. However, if you have lighter coloring, a light wash is going to be great for you. If you have lighter coloring, a darker wash, like a really dark wash, may be overpowering for you. And so if you're not sure what wash to go for, I'd say err on the side of caution and go for a medium wash. And we carry a ton of medium wash jeans at Style Finder. So you can get on our website at Shop Style Finder and just search, take a look, take a look at the different styles, take a look at the different washes and think about what works for you. All right, number four, let's talk details. Details matter, right? And if jeans are on trend, then we're going to be seeing different details that vary slightly from year to year. Okay, let's talk about distressing. This is where I feel that there is a lot of confusion. And I had a client not too long ago who came in and she was wearing some jeans in a video. She didn't actually buy the jeans, but she liked the jeans. And somebody commented that a woman her age, I think she's in her early 70s, a woman her age should not be wearing distressed jeans. Well, I have a question to ask her. Why not? If she likes them, if they look good on her and work for her lifestyle, why not? But here's what I would invite you to do. Unless you are super, super, super edgy or super, super, super trendy in your style, I would avoid overly distressed jeans. You know, that's where they're blown out, basically. Big holes, big gapping holes, especially in certain places. I would avoid those. Those are very trendy. You're probably not going to go for this anyway. But if you absolutely love those, that means they're right for you, I think. Try them on. You'll know how you feel when you put them on. You don't want everything hanging out. But I will tell you that distressed jeans have come a long way. And we've carried a lot over the years 
that are just slightly distressed. I personally have some and love them. And, you know, I'm in my 50s and I feel great in them, but they're slightly distressed. Oftentimes we'll have jeans that are slightly distressed and have fabric behind them. So you're not actually even showing skin. So it's an illusion, basically. It's the illusion. It's Trump lawyer, basically, uh, of distressing because it's there, but you're not actually seeing any, any skin. And so think about that. Or another thing I want you to think about, if distressing is hot, which we're still seeing a, a lot of distressing, we're still seeing a lot of raw hems. Usually distressing and raw hems go hand in hand. And so I would invite you to go for raw edge hems. If you don't know what I'm talking about, it's basically a jean, usually it works better with a cropped jean or a skinny jean. Well, I've, I've seen it in all, all shapes really. But it's basically an edge that is not hemmed. It's raw. It's raw edge. And what happens is once you start washing it, you're going to get some fraying. And so that's just part of the natural beauty. I I know when I used to be a clothing designer, I used a lot of washable silks. And one thing we would put on the card is that, you know, as you're as you wash it, it gets softer, more pliable. And, you know, just it's going to change. It's going to be subtle, but it's inherent in the beauty of the fabric. And I think the distressing as it gets more frayed, more worn, more looks like it's lived in. It's just part of the inherent beauty of denim. That's why we love denim too anyway, right? I mean, sometimes it's great to get that really stiff, crisp denim, but it's also really good to put on that denim that just fits your body like a glove and just makes you feel fabulous. And so if you're not sure, we have had some jeans in the past. Actually, I think we have some now that almost look like there's been a a bite taken out of them. So the hem is a little bit curved and there's a little bit of fringe. Those are so cute. And we're seeing tons of those for fall. That's a fun look, a fun way to do it. And so if you like that, try that. And then the fifth tip I want to recommend is styling. Styling. How do you style your jeans? Because I want you to think about how you put them all together. There is um, someone that I know, and she's a little bit older, and I know years ago she was going on a trip, and she had some jeans, and these jeans were the epitome, and this may sound judgmental, but I'm not sure how else to describe them. They were, in my opinion, the epitome of matronly, and they had an elastic waist, they had a wide pull on, but they weren't like really supposed to be like a wide leg pant, but they really did not have a lot of style to the jeans. And then she just wore them with whatever shoes she might have put on and whatever top she had on that day. And there was really no styling done to this outfit. And so the result was, it was very simple. It wasn't really flattering and it didn't really look very polished. And so I think one thing that's really key for women over 40 is And I've heard this from so many women over the years. They want to look and feel polished and put together. And so jeans are not an excuse to not be polished and put together. Now, I'm not saying you have to be dressed to the nines every single day, but I'm saying that if you want to put your best foot forward and you want to look great in your pair of jeans, then think about the styling. Think about adding a little bit more polish. I have an ex who I remember he used to ask me, why can't you just wear jeans and a t-shirt? And again, this is many years ago. And I just, I was like, I don't, I got nothing for you. Like, I don't feel good in that. You know, and when he's talking about jeans and a t-shirt, it was like, you know, leave basic Levi's and a Hanes beefy tea. Like that just doesn't flatter me. I felt boxy. The neckline wasn't good. The sleeves didn't hit me in the right place. I just didn't feel good. And so one night to humor him, I borrowed a pair of his jeans and I borrowed one of his t-shirts and I wore my sneakers and we went out and he loved it. And I felt like crap. (laughs) I said, okay, done it. Been there, done it. It's not for me, but I look back and I realize, well, those were his jeans. They weren't made for my body. And that t-shirt was just a Hanes beefy tee with absolutely no styling. However, you know what I had on yesterday? Jeans and a tee. 
I had on my jeans that I mentioned earlier, my Liverpools with the wider legs, a little bit of distressing. I had on my white sneakers. I had on a cute tee I had gotten from Paris and I had knotted it at the waist and then I had on a blazer. And when it was the blazer that actually it was a moto jacket, um, but it wasn't a liquid leather. It was one I had gotten, we had from Liverpool last year. It was like a Ponte knit with some texture and it looked so cute together. But, and I was thinking about well, what's the difference between just wearing jeans and a t-shirt like you did back in the eighties or nineties and wearing something that looked like this. Well, it's the styling. I had knotted the shirt. So it was a little bit more fitted at the waist. It wasn't just baggy and sloppy. I had put the jacket on over it. I had jewelry, had some accessories. I'd worn some hoop earrings and the jeans were a little bit more stylized. And then adding in the white sneakers, which are, you know, they're on trend right now. It wasn't default. It was intentional. And I think back then when my ex was saying, why can't you just wear this? It was more of a default look. This was stylized. It was intentional. I mean, it wasn't overdone, but I think one look that we're seeing a lot of, certainly I saw a lot of in Paris is cute jeans, whatever your style, you know, certainly the cropped flare work really well with this, uh, or skinny or straight white sneakers, a t-shirt and a blazer. And so wearing a blazer, wearing a moto jacket just elevates, but you want to pay attention to the waist because if you're wearing a t-shirt and there's no waistline treatment, then it's just going to be frumpy. You want to maybe tuck it in and wear a belt. Maybe you want to do a French tuck. Maybe you want to tie a knot. Now, I will tell you, sometimes if you tie a knot, you pull it and you can stretch it a little bit. But that's how I roll. I, I know which shirts I'm going to knot. I don't do it with all of them, but I have a couple that I do, and that's always how I wear them. Uh, although if I want to tuck it in, I can certainly do that, and you won't see that it's stretched out. But you want to be a little bit more stylized. Think about, do I need a belt? Would a belt finish off this look? Am I going to wear my cute sandals or wedges or pumps? What shoes am I going to wear with this? And then pair a trendy, well, I shouldn't say trend, pair an on-trend top. Maybe it's a great top in a hot color right now, or maybe it's a great print top. Whatever it is that makes you feel good, but that's a great way to take your jeans to a new level and feel fabulous. So, all right, so let's go back through it again. My five tips for wearing jeans over 40. Number one, make sure you have a great fit. Number two, get a cut that's right for you. Number three, get a wash that works for your coloring. Number four, it's all about the details. And number five, don't forget to style your jeans. Don't just put them on by default. Ladies, I hope you will feel so much more confident in wearing your jeans. Go back and listen to the episode on getting a great fitting pair of jeans. That will help answer any questions about fit. And I will see you on the next episode. Thanks for tuning in to Style by Mary Michelle, where women come to get dressed in seven minutes or less. If you enjoyed this podcast, I invite you to leave me a five-star review on iTunes or wherever you're listening. Be sure to follow me on Instagram at Style by Mary Michelle and shop our boutique at shopstylefinder.com for the best in upscale casual apparel. Better yet, if you're in the Raleigh area, come see us. We're located in the North Hills Shopping Center, the premier shopping district in Midtown Raleigh. For details and links mentioned in this episode, be sure to see the show notes. Have a beautiful week.